Whether you're a diehard fan or a casual observer, we bet these facts will pique your interest. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 5 surprising facts about Once Upon a Time. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at some lesser-known facts pertaining to the hit television show Once Upon a Time. Number 5. Prince Charming Was Supposed to Die You never have to worry, I will always find you. Once a few seasons rolled by, it became difficult to fathom an episode of Once Upon a Time without Prince Charming. Yet the show's primary male protagonist was nearly killed off in the very first episode. During the pilot, Charming is stabbed and is bleeding heavily. This was originally going to be where the character met his demise, but the powers that be deemed Prince Charming too important a cog in the show's narrative to be killed off. I refuse to believe that. Good can't just lose. A different pilot was then written, wherein the character falls into a coma instead of succumbing to his injuries. Goodbye, Prince Charming. I told you, it's James. Number 4. The ages of the actors don't match those of their characters. A common theme in the film and television industry is hiring actors who aren't the same age as their on-screen counterparts. Nowhere is this more apparent than on Once Upon a Time, as Jennifer Morrison, who plays Emma Swan, is a year older than her on-screen father Josh Dallas, and only one year younger than Jennifer Goodwin, who plays her mother Snow White. I can't believe I had a child with you. However, seeing as how the show revolves around the daily exploits of a group of fairy tale characters living in a fictional village in Maine, it seems best to just enjoy the series and not get hung up on a few age discrepancies. That's ridiculous. Please, I know how to swaddle our child correctly. Number 3. Captain Hook earned his spot by making a strong impression. Never been in a Jew before I take it. As an actor, auditioning for a role can be a nerve-wracking experience. Unless you're Colin O'Donoghue. The actor who plays Captain Hook made such a good impression during his initial audition that the producers decided to make his character a series regular before he ever appeared on screen. A man unwilling to fight for what he wants deserves what he gets. Hook, who was reportedly heavily inspired by Wesley from The Princess Bride and Han Solo of Star Wars, became one of the show's most captivating characters. And in keeping with Once Upon a Time's habit of presenting old characters in new ways, Hook turned out to be one of the easiest heroes to cheer for. Excellent. Number 2. Lady Gaga was offered a role. You only got three coppers? After seeing Keegan Connor Tracy play the role of Rule Gorm, also known as the Blue Fairy, also known as Mother Superior, for this many seasons, it's difficult to imagine anyone else filling her shoes. Yet, when Once Upon a Time was first conceived, the producers hoped that Lady Gaga would accept the fairy godmother role. I bow down to pray, I try to make the world seem better. While they reached out to the singer, they never received a response, prompting them to go with their second choice. It's always fun to imagine different people playing a particular character. But in this instance, it's especially intriguing, as Gaga is truly a one-of-a-kind performer. If someone believes in you, you are never alone. Number 1. The sixth season was Jennifer Morrison's last. He straight up lied to my face and I'm the dark one. All good things must come to an end. While the minds behind Once Upon a Time decided to move forward with a seventh season, they had to do so without Emma Swan, protagonist and primary protector of the fairy tale residents of the fictional town of Storybrooke. However, this bad news comes with a silver lining as Morrison did state that she would make an appearance in one season 7 episode. I'm sorry, is this the only way? Throughout the first six seasons, Morrison drew praise from fans and critics alike for infusing a little girl power into the fairy tale genre. While it might have been difficult to bid adieu to Emma Swan, viewers can take solace in the fact that this story isn't over just yet. Uh, hello? Are you Henry Mills? Yeah. Who are you? My name's Lucy. I'm your daughter. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.